The project actually started eight years ago as a new bridge construction project in which they were planning on building the first two lanes of the highway and then they would dismantle the bridge that was in place and then build the remaining two. Through the design process, they determined that there was a conflict with the footings for the new bridge. Originally, they came in with a game plan of just doing a conventional demolition project using heavy equipment and breakers and munching the concrete and pulling it out, but it wasn't going to be adequate to get out the lower levels of the structure. We came in once they determined that the conventional methods weren't going to work. In the two different locations where we're working, that's where the footings for the new bridge will go. So basically they're big concrete structures right in the way. Right now we are wire sawing and cutting the rest of the structure that's underwater into pieces. Well, I think the wire saw is probably considered state of the art for doing what it does. You look at it as kind of a simple tool, but it does a great job. When you're setting up the wire saws to make a cut, it requires installing a lot of pulleys and a lot of shivs. So those all have to be bolted to the footing or to the wall section that we're lifting out. Currently the cut we're on is a four foot wall, four foot wide. It was an eight foot cut that it takes us about 30 minutes. As you can see, it's a wire that every inch or so there's a pack of industrial diamonds and that's actually what's doing our cutting. The largest piece we've pulled out is 127,000 pounds, but they're right in the 75,000 to 80,000 pound range on average. There's about 300 pieces that will be coming out. So the first 20 or 30, it was really exciting. But now we've just got into a rhythm where it's what we're here to do. The boots on the ground, I think, is where it really comes together. And the guys clocking in every day, working their butts off. It's a 12-hour shift. They're putting in the time because they care and they want to see a successful project completed. I think our performance and schedule on this project really speak for themselves. We're going to finish this project significantly ahead of the intended schedule. There's a huge amount of coordination that's required. We listen to each other and we determine the best route, and it's really sowed the seeds of success.